Welcome back to a new episode of Weekly Chew. Let's start off by going over the ingredients you will need for this recipe. You will need mild Italian sausage, basil, salt and pepper, red wine, olive oil, Roma tomatoes, one small onion, and linguine noodles. Let's get started. We're going to start by removing the sausages from their casing. You firmly but carefully squeeze and slide the sausage out of its casing, trying to get as much as you possibly can. When we decase all of our sausage, we'll fry it in the pan, just like ground beef. We're doubling our ingredients for this recipe, so we're using eight sausages instead of four. Eight sausages will generously feed a family of eight. Think of it as one sausage per person. With the meat ready, we're going to turn on our burner, which is about a seven or an eight, depending on your oven. Once the pan is hot, we'll grab the plate of sausages and dump it in the pan. Try to break the meat up into bite-sized pieces as it cooks, so that it cooks evenly. It'll take about 10 minutes for the sausage, so in the meantime, Let's cut our veggies. We're going to start with our onion. We're going to peel and dice one small onion. Once we set our onion aside, we can cut up our Roma tomatoes. But first, let's give our meat a quick mix. For this recipe, we're using eight Romas, which is the same number of sausages we're using. So, if you're using four sausages, use four Romas. All we're going to do is trim off the ends and dice into little pieces.
Once the tomatoes are diced, we can season with salt. For this amount of tomatoes, we're using about one teaspoon of salt, which we will mix well with the tomatoes. We're going to check on our sausages again, making sure that it all cooks together evenly. Then we're going to prepare our wine. We're using one cup of red wine, which will make up our sauce. After mixing our meat around one more time, we can now grab our onion and add it to the meat and give it all a stir. Now we can add our tomatoes. And mix it all around. Next, we'll add one big tablespoon of basil for further flavor, mixing it all together. Next is about one teaspoon of pepper. Now we're going to add a quarter cup of olive oil. This will help bind our mixture to the noodles when we add them. Next. <coughs> now we'll throw in our cup of red wine and mix it around. Now we cover. Then we will reduce the heat to a simmer and cook down for about 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. While it cooks down, we'll add one heaping teaspoon of brown sugar, just to remove the tartness of the tomatoes and add some balance to it all. Sauce is done. 
set aside. Now would be a good time to cook our noodles. We'll fill up one pot with water and bring it to a boil. You can start the noodles a little earlier so that they're ready just as the sausage finished cooking. But you can always keep the sausage on heat while you cook the pasta. Before the water heats, we'll add about one tablespoon of salt. Now that the water is boiling, we can add the noodles. Remember, when cooking noodles, it comes down to preference of softness. So whenever they're to your liking, they're done. Now that everything is ready, we can add the noodles to the sausage and sauce. Remembering not to strain the noodles. Once the noodles have been added, it's time to mix it all around, making sure everything comes together nicely and evenly. Now we're ready to plate and serve. And there you have it. Smutch Italian sausage with linguine. For a recap on today's recipe, log on to www.molcrebec.com slash mrba slash mrba.html.